Guys, I, I used to live with a couple of guys from Texas and they were super friendly guys, but they claimed to me, they said to me, you know what, mate, everything is bigger and better in Texas. Everything, the burgers are bigger, the cars are bigger, the houses are bigger, the streets are bigger and wider, uh, the trees are bigger. Everything you think of is bigger. Well, it turns out maybe even the batteries are bigger. There are coal plants in Texas and recently one of them tripped. It screwed the grid. Well, almost, but the grid was saved by an unexpected savior. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with me. And thank you for tuning in. In Texas, huge batteries stepped in to save the grid when a coal plant stopped working amid a heat wave and near record demand in Texas. So basically everyone was frying in Texas. I mean, even the sun is bigger in Texas, apparently. <laughs> I, <laughs> I kid you not, but people probably think that. Now, a growing fleet of big batteries in Texas has saved the market after a an always on baseload power generator, which is a coal power plant, tripped in the middle of the evening peak. When it's super hot, everyone gets home, their house is hot as hell, they turn on their air conditioning, this coal plant just died. Uh, this was right after we had a coal plant here in Australia actually blow up. And the same thing had to happen here in Australia. In fact, EV batteries helped solve that problem. So massive heat waves in Texas actually pushed demand for electricity toward record levels. Now it wasn't demand based on EVs, it was actually based on uh, everyone was turning on their air conditioners all at the same time. The problem was a 550 megawatt coal unit. Reneweconomy.com.au says that actually the week before, the problem was a nuclear power plant, but the result was the same. Battery storage responded in seconds and filled in the gaps, basically saving the grid. And this underlies the tremendous importance of battery backup power technology. And batteries can back up fossil fuels, gas, nuclear, renewables, they can back up anything. You guys who are in California, you know that um, the grid in California has been completely transformed because of the enormous batteries you've installed there. Plus, of course, Tesla's virtual power plant also works really well there too. The coal power plant on Wednesday last week tripped just after 6 p.m. That's the net, that's the basically the highest demand point of the day. And demand was ramping towards its evening peak just as residents came home, turned on their air conditioning, other appliances, and all of a sudden, well, they had this crisis. As you can see here, big batteries recorded a record for the local grid, uh, which is called ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. They showed that demand reached 3,067 megawatts the second highest discharge on record. And that was, well, primarily from batteries. The role of battery storage in Texas, where there is actually a lot of renewable energy, a lot of it from wind power, will increase significantly over the coming years as ERCOT commissions another six gigawatts of battery storage to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels, particularly gas, and help the grid through the increasingly extreme weather conditions in both summer and in winter. So here in Australia, we have this big debate about coal, about nuclear, but we can see that in several places around the world, renewable energy with batteries appears to be the best solution. Coal and nuclear power plants are subject to unexpected trips. And a lot of people think that they just work forever, but they don't. Because of their size, this can be a, a big problem. Here in South Australia, there's a city called Adelaide. Their grid was tripping all the time. Like this situation in Texas. People come home, they turn on their air conditioners, and the grid was just blacking out. And there was what they call blackouts, and it was happening regularly. And that's when um, Tesla and Elon Musk stepped up and they said, you know what, we'll fix your grid problems, we'll install a big battery, we promise we'll do it within 100 days, and it will help to fix your grid. Now, our Prime Minister mocked it. He said it wouldn't work. He said Elon Musk was basically a moron. It was all a big, a big publicity stunt. Uh, Tesla said, if we build it within 100 days, uh, you know, we'll basically, you, you pay for it, right? But if it's not done within 100 days, we will pay for it. Anyway, Tesla got it done. It worked. It helped to fix the grid. And what happened was it was so profitable because it actually 
disrupted fossil fuel pika plants. So it was so profitable, they actually doubled the size about a year or two later. And now the grid of Adelaide, uh, that city of Adelaide, is the only city in the world that pretty much only nearly only uses renewable energy entirely. Now, there are other cities around the world that do this, but they basically depend on something like hydropower. And Adelaide is the only city that doesn't depend on hydropower, depends pretty much primarily on solar, wind, and batteries. And it has proven to the world that this actually can work. Ontario, the most nuclear dependent grid in the world after France, with a more than 50% share of nuclear, has recently commissioned several gigawatts of battery storage. So a renewal economy says that even nuclear power plants have failures and they need battery backup as well. And as a result, many, many countries around the world are installing big batteries. And this is really working out well for Tesla. Tesla's energy deployment division is going crazy. Uh, they're making huge amounts of profit on these massive batteries that they're selling. And that's happening at the same time that car sales have come down. So that's sort of offsetting the decline in vehicle sales for Tesla. But it's also fixing grids around the world. And eventually, it will make electricity much cheaper. And it'll also make renewable energy a real alternative in almost every city around the world. Thanks for watching.